So that's the first goose that's on the right field today. Uh, and he was alone. So most likely uh, the other one is laying on some eggs right now. So we don't touch them. We don't we don't uh, hunt them right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. I'm gonna head over to the other island. Just had to stop and check here as well. Um, so yeah. Welcome to uh, crop protection. All right, so I just spotted a group of these. Uh, three of them actually. One of them is in a really good position. So I'm gonna hopefully, I know there's been a lot of hunting done here on them lately, so they might just bugger off, but we'll, we'll have to just try. So. They're still down there at least, but I can see one of them has already stood up and is stretching his neck. So he's probably aware of what I'm doing. We'll see. They're just like three meters behind that barn, but I'm going behind that house. So I have to cross in the open where they see me, but hopefully they just stay. All right, wish me luck. I made it across. These to my left just took off, but one down here is still here. So let's see. Okay, so they have still not flown off. But it's just trying to get this camera as well out there so you guys can see the shot. They should be about 120 meters down, so it shouldn't be too bad. But we'll see if it goes. They, they saw me, so they know I'm behind here. Well, I'll just give it two minutes and then I'll try. First goose is down. <laughs> Pretty straightforward shot. goose over there just took off but there's a house behind so I can't take them out anyways <laughs> all right guys it's my first goose that's awesome first goose of the day it didn't take too long either so I'm quite happy that's awesome now the thing I need to do now is that I need to register it. Uh, I need to take a photo with um, GPS coordinates on. I need to take it with the chest up because all the dark spots 
I, they're unique, so you can see that it's different, different goose, and so. So yeah, first goose, perfect. Okay, so um, there's actually a couple of goose a bit further down. So I need to cross the road back to my car, and I'm gonna lay up by that barn. They might be in a ditch, I might not be able to see them, but if I can, I will uh, try and take a shot at them. From here, it's 250 meters to them, so I guess from there it's probably the same. Maybe 20 meters closer, so I'm just gonna get this goose to the car and then uh, head for the next one. And we'll see how it goes. Right, so I just wanted to put the goose I shot by the car and uh, change some batteries in the GoPro. Uh, they're moving away, so they're probably at 250 at least. Um, I'm just gonna sneak around the corner here, get the distance, see if I can find a spot to shoot from. I'm gonna give it a go. They're actually moving a bit closer now. But they're moving straight towards me, which will make this difficult because I can't sneak out. It's a bit. I won't see them with the GoPro, but there's a tree on the middle of the field down there. There's two of them to the left. And there is a third one further to the left, but that's not a safe shot. I think I'll just take my chance. I don't want to waste too much time, so I'm just going to walk out and hopefully the distance is great enough for them to not care that I'm here. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, he's seen me already. There's nothing wrong with the vision at least. There's three, four goose down there. And set up my camera and see if we can get this going. Another goose just flew in. Oh, there's two more. So the range is 200 meters. Let's see how it goes. Second goose down. Uh, shot. I need to check it out because I think that was a bit for 220. Oh, I mean 200. Uh. Yeah. yeah, 250. I changed target because. The one's moving a bit too far to the left for me. Uh, so I hit a bit lower than I should. I forgot to bring my hunting shoes with me today, by the way. I'm running around in my sneakers. <laughs> oh well. Anyways. Almost there. Uh, there's plenty of goose on the field, but they're quite close to the road, so it's gonna be a difficult shot. I'm just gonna leave them for now, come back. Oh, there are some goose down there. That's actually a lot better. Um, you know what, I'll see if I can go and get them instead. It will also scare off the other ones when I shoot, so 
just park down in the shade and uh, I'll get going. All right, so the first group of geese, which was about 15 geese there, they're just too close to the road. Uh, I can't shoot from the road and I need to crawl up on them and to get to the position where we can shoot, they're probably just gonna be about, what, 20 meters away. So if I had a shotgun with me, I could have done it, but I don't. Um, but uh, there was a second group a bit further away, which, uh, Looks good, there's like a this small island in the middle, so I'm just gonna creep in on that and then it's probably gonna be an easy shot at 70 meters. So I'm gonna try and do that. The tricky part will be trying to film it with the other camera, get it set up so close, but I'll try. See if we can get a real close up. Okay, time to get the rifle ready. See you in a bit. Gonna be a easy shot at 70 meters, so <laughs> first miss of the day, and it's uh, definitely the most easiest shot I had to take so far today. <laughs> but they noticed me, they started stretching their neck and talking to each other, and they were about to take off. <laughs> it's not the greatest position I had. And I was not stable at all, and I decided to try to take the shot because I mean, if you first hit, if you first hit the, the goose with the three away, it's it's going down, it's staying down. So I uh, missed slightly to the right. So this is how it is. I'll move on to the next field and see what happened there. Plenty of goose down here. Get them at an angle, so I gotta go take those two at the end there. Let this car pass me. So I'm gonna knock on the door and ask. Okay, so camera set up. He's down. <laughs> ah, perfect, perfect day. Four chances, three goose. Um, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm pleased. So I managed to choose the right individual. This one should be about the size of it as well. Should be a young one. They're quite good to eat as well. 
Uh, I got a tip to actually cure the breasts of the old ones. That, that actually tastes quite good, so I'm gonna try that this year. Um, but yeah. Third goose down. And what a perfect day to be out. We're quite lucky here in Norway, I'd say. I see one far down, but it's going to be difficult. Um, you know what, I'm just going to take... Oh, there's one. Two, three. Okay, so I got three goose there, and um, yeah, it's, I'm probably gonna shoot uh, them from these hay balls here, so that's perfect. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna park, park the car and, uh, and just try, see what happens. That lady did not look happy. She doesn't know, probably. Look like a tourist. not so funny to see a bearded ginger with a rifle at the side of the road. Right, so I'm not going to shoot off the hay balls. He's far down. Ballistic app from Norma just to make sure I get straight onto it. The slight wind from the right to the left. So it shows I need to pull four clicks up. I just don't know if I can shoot him from this angle. That's the difficult part. All right, so that's gonna be my last goose today. Four is more than enough. And I've kind of made the tour as well, so I've scared off most of the goose as well. So now I have time to do everything I need to do before I leave my work trip. Right, so another young one, which is perfect. I think that's gonna be the last bird now. I'm mean, gonna find a decent spot to just field dress them and get them ready to bring home. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, it's probably um, something new for most of you. That's not from Norway at least. Um, but I would just like to make it clear that this is not hunting, this is uh, crop protection. So um, there's a big difference. I mean, we sit in a car and drive around all day. Usually it's me and a couple of buddies and it's we have a great time. Uh, and uh, I have to say that I noticed today that 
It wasn't as fun today as it usually is because I'm out here, out, out here alone. So it definitely helps to be a couple of guys driving about, just talking shit and having fun. At the same time as we help the local farmers. Um, so yeah, but anyways, it's still a good time though. Uh, I'm not gonna, not gonna complain about being able to bring my rifle out and shoot some goose. So I'll just let you enjoy the view and uh, see you next time. Ciao.